So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and open the console incognito window and the next step is that you have to activate the cloud shell so how you have to do do not worry i am explaining each and every thing first of all click on i understand and if you get any other pop up just click on i agree and i agree and continue now here you can clearly see this button click on it to activate the cloud shell here simply click on continue and then simply click on authorize yourself just follow the way i am doing so after clicking on authorize the cloud shell session will activate now here basically in the description box i have shared the repository first of all let me increase the font size now here come over here select it and paste over here now what this does it enables all the apis create the service id all these things which are already mentioned on the lab so there is no issue if you are following this tutorial you can complete without any issue now it will take some time so wait for it once it is done you have to click on this url on the cloud shell now here we have to create some thing what we have to create let me show you what we have to create so now we are creating the proxy first of all update to no target and for the name you can come to the github report itself i have made everything easier for all of you to complete so come over here you can use the lab instruction also but i will recommend follow as i am doing so that you get full score on this lab without any issue now here once you have done this you have to click on next and create now here just click on the create option it will take some time to get created and finally it is successfully created now you have to click on the develop tab you can see here three tabs are here overview develop and debug you have to click on develop tab now here one thing we have to do is download this file so just try to open it in case it is not opening make sure you are signed in to your google account and just open directly directly on the normal window do not use incognito window a file will be downloaded to your local system like this which you have to upload so come over here and here you can see this three dot import revision now browse the file which you have downloaded just import now. it click on so import you have to download it and click on view it, revision now here we have successfully created all the tasks now we have to do some manual task do not worry it's very easy click on this first of all and now here what we have to do basically we don't have to modify any file over here so here what you have to do you have to click on the 49 number and just hit a backspace do not change any of the syntax okay do not change anything you have to simply here and just hit backspace once you are in 48 number line then save button will be enabled you have to just save it okay let me show you how you have to do like this just save it and after that you have to deploy a new version so after that once the file is saved click on deploy change the environment and just click on deploy and here you can see the service account you can double click on it and just paste over here what i did I double clicked on the service ID. Now wait for it to get deployed and once it's done, we'll move forward to the lab instruction and simply check the score. Once it is successfully deployed, you have to come to the basic lab instruction and check the score. And many of you are asking how to enable the yellow check my progress bar. You can check the video description I have mentioned how to enable check my progress bar. Now you can just refresh the browser window and try again if you are not getting the score. And once you get 100, you can end the lab. 